One thing also, notice how we have all this extra film here. Well, all you got to do is to get rid of it. Just cut it out. That's it. And now that little piece, I just got to put it back in there, but that'll take me a second. I'll show you guys. Just lift it. Lift that here and just push that down and you're good to go. Now one thing I did forget is we have to put on the uh, turbo module. So let's go ahead and open this package up. We can just open it up real easy. Alright. I don't know if we'll need the uh, thermal paste, but just in case, let's take it out. And let's read real quick, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Alright, so this comes with not screws, but mounting pins. So this is going to fit through the card and fit through the uh, fan. So first off, we'll take one out. through here. Actually, I did it the wrong way. Slide this one through here and this one through here. Alright, so just slide this one through here, pop it through. Might need to pop it through just a tiny bit. same thing for the top one and actually did it backwards this is going to be blowing air onto the card so whoops got to take that out now <clears throat> all right now with the fan that's going to be with the uh, with the fins that are going to be blowing air onto the fan so the part that actually spins is going to be facing out. Right here. So it's going to be kind of like that, right? So just kind of realized that I waste a lot of my time. Should have read that one before I started this. You need to add that fan before you put it on the card so I gotta undo everything Alright, well, we can see the GPU made great contact there, so, and thank, thankfully, since we have these on there now, we can put it down and we're not going to mess up that paste. Alright, 
so we're going to put it right over here just to stay close to the GPU and now we're going to have to fit the, uh, these guys through here So you can see how that works. Now it's retained there because of that thick piece of plastic or rubber, I'm sorry. Pretty much bare there. Then this guy fits through here. This is going to go through the heat sink and up on the other side. So now I'll just do it again. Alright, so we're good there now. So now we're going to want to fit it through the card. So you can see right over here. Kind of just slide these little pegs through there. Let's see how do they go. Yeah, so this one goes through here. And I'll just show you one real quick. through here and like we did before just kind of pull it through so. and when you put it on make sure that you have enough space for this little fan header to connect to the car. That's where it's going to be pulling its power from. Though, if you don't want to pull power from there, they do provide a Molex to the two pin adapter so you can connect it directly to your power supply and this fan to here. So you could do two fans. And I warn you the manual makes this look a little easier than it is. And I know you'll feel like it won't like it won't go through, but it finally did for me.
last but definitely not least So now that's back on there. I'm not going to bore you with how I put everything back because it's going to be the same. But I will show you that oh, well, looks like I will have to use that Molex adapter. So, you can see the fan header here is a little bit bigger, or a lot of bit bigger, than what this comes with. So, I actually will need to use the Molex. So, I'll show you guys that in a minute. For now, I'll put the card back together and come back in a little bit. See you guys.